Professor Steedman, could you explain the title of your book? Certainly. Uh, by full industry equilibrium, we mean a situation in which, under the pressures of strong competition, every firm in every industry makes a maximum net profit of exactly zero. What is the central theme of the book? Throughout, we focus all our attention on the comparison of alternative long-run equilibria. So, for example, we might consider the situation before and after a big change in the price of oil, or before and after a significant improvement, technical improvement, in the electronics industry. Strange as it may seem, uh, the existing answers to such questions are somewhat fragmented and incomplete. We hope that in our book we provide a coherent and rather general approach to such questions. Professor Opoker, how do you do that? We build on a simple principle. Under the assumption of zero net profits, the equilibria to be compared must necessarily differ in more than one price. Therefore, anyone who is interested in such comparisons cannot rely on the familiar simple laws of input demand and output supply. We show what can be put in their place. Do you draw from earlier authors? We did not start from scratch, obviously. The long period of theory of production, based on Piero Sraffa's book of 1960, developed an impressive set of comparative statics properties. Some of these properties feature prominently in our book, but more must be said at a microeconomic level. Another important source in our book is the so-called long-run theory of the firm. This literature placed an individual firm within the context of an industry characterized by free entry and exit, but it ignored some significant inter-industry relationships, such as input-output relationships and the presence of common factors. These two strands of literature were developed independently of one another, but we show in the book that a cross-fertilization could be fruitful. Who will be your readership? Uh, the book is definitely of a theoretical nature, so we expect it to be read by microeconomists, academics and PhD students. But there is also a significant amount of material to interest historians of economic thought. And the book will be of interest too to applied microeconomists. We pay considerable attention to taxation and technical progress. And more specifically, we propose new methods for treating the theory of tax incidence and for dealing with the measurement of technical improvement at the level of the single industry. Overall, therefore, we hope that the book will contribute to the way in which long-run analysis, both theoretical and applied, is carried out.